All right, this MTG Buddha back again today. Uh, I'm going to play a little bit of Alchemy. I've got a mono black deck here. We're going to try doing some mono black. I need to do black for my dailies. So put together a little mono black deck here. We're going to give it a shot. We've got a couple three ofs here um, in the one drop spots. Of course, Shambling Gas goes in pretty much any black deck anymore. Uh, we're going to try three of this card. And we're going to try the Warlock class and see how that works out. Um, we've got four copies of Deadly Dispute, which of course goes in pretty much any black deck anymore as well. Uh, three copies of Infernal Blast, uh, one copy of Three Nations Underdog, because, I mean, you get to bring it back from the graveyard all the time. Uh, two Meat Hook Maskers, two De Heralds Downfalls, uh, two Shakedown Heavies, one copy of Go Blank to exile out of my opponent's graveyard. Um, we've got one of these, which can be a land or a spell if I need, kill spell if I need to. One Lawless. Uh, three copies of Invoke Despair, which is a really good card. Three copies of Blood of the Snow to sweep their board. And we've got Professor Onyx. And of course, we're running the Snowlands so that we could always bring something back to this if we want to. So we're going to go ahead and give this a shot. And we're going to go into Alchemy. Oh, I went to the wrong thing. Um, we're going to go in and do some Alchemy and see how this works out. So let's go. Uh, let's go alchemy. Let's go mono black alchemy. All right. I don't know why it's showing green in the symbols there, but um, if you're watching this video, I'd like to say thanks for watching the video. Hopefully, you like the video and it's a little helpful. Um, I might start trying to add um, deck lists in the comment section. Um, so if you want to try the deck out, then you'd be able to. Um, just kind of import the deck and try it out. Um, I also have a couple of pre-release codes from Streets and Papena. Uh, yeah, I think I'll keep this. Um, I have a couple of pre-release codes from Streets and Papena that I'm still uh, are up for grabs. Um, the first two comments I get on any of my videos, I will be giving out um, pre-release codes. So. Once Dominaria comes out, I'll have some extra pre-release codes for that that I will be willing to give out as well. All right, so he played a white land, and now he's got a black land. So looks like he's playing black-white. All right, so we will attack. This is in here more or less to die so that you can go get things. Um, so you've got several different things that you can draft with it. So... Just an interesting little thing. Um, you know, I don't think I want him going into the dungeons. So we're going to kill that. All right, so we will go combat. We'll attack for one. Uh, we'll see what he does here. Which one is this? Okay. There's a battlefield that connives. I'll tell you what, as it enters the battlefield, we're just going to go ahead and kill it. So we're going to go to combat, attack, and we'll end turn. Um, if I need to, I can always daily dispute this. Which, like I said, this is in here. If it gets some damage in it, it gets some damage in it. But once, once it dies, it's when its value really adds up, when you can draft one of those cards off of it. Um, all right. I'm tempted to just go ahead and daily dispute it at the end of this turn, even... All right, so he's going to cast that as it when it enters. Yeah, it enters the battlefield. He gets to go and do that. So, all right. Um, I don't have the mana to do this. I could always exile something from my hand to make it work, but. See, this does not have haste, so, okay. So, I think I might just go ahead and do this. Sacrificing this to draw two, and I get to draft a card. So I'm basically drawing three and getting a treasure token. Uh, let's see. So, champ player, upkeep that player loses three life unless they sacrifice a non permit or discard a card. Uh, that's four mana. Um, I will have mana to do that next turn. And, you know, you know, we'll take this. I might not play it, but we'll take it. All right. 
So go back to my turn. All right, so now I have access to five mana. I think I do this so that I can draw a couple cards. So let's look at him. Because he's going to have to sacrifice his creature. And then I get to draw, and I get to draw. Yeah. And I have to discard, so I'll just discard a land. All right, so he cast that. Okay. All right, so. Do I have a way to kill that? Uh, creature or planeswalker. So it's at five. So I can do it for one, two, three, four. If I exile it, let's see. So exile any number of black cards on. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Um, let's see. So I can exile. Um, do I exile this? Okay, so I need to do five. So I need to exile one card to make it a little cheaper. Um, yeah, I think we just exile this one. And we do the five that way. And then we gained five life as well. All right. So where is he at in the dungeon? So he is going to be making a goblin. All right, so we're going to play... Mm. See, I can play this and then play this for three. We'll get rid of both his creatures. Let's see. Of course, he's going to exile that. That's fine. All right. So we are going to play this, and then we're going to cast this targeting him. So on his uh, upkeep, he's going to have to either lose three life or sacrifice a non-land permanent or discard a card. So now, do you want to lose three? Do you want to discard a card? You have no non-land permanents to sacrifice, so he lost three. Okay. Okay, so this needs to help. I think tell I'm gonna play Lolith first. Um and then we are going to now I think we're actually gonna draw. I don't expect there to be any haste. If he has a kill spell, he's just gonna kill it anyway. Um and then we'll go ahead and play this land out. And we will go to the end set. So now do you want to lose three discard? Okay, he's going to cast that. That's fine. So when this enters the battlefield, um, we'll see what he does. He's going to make a 2-2, two -two, I'm assuming. Yeah. So this is going to be at 2. So I just need to do this for 2. So 1-2. Pay. Uh, submit 0. We're going to target this. Auto. All right. So we got that off the board. He gets a 2-2, two -two, but... He either has to lose three life here. If he attacks Lolith, Lolith only goes down to two. So I'm not that worried about Lolith going to two. I wanted the card off of her anyway at that point, at this point. So um, next turn, I will probably draw a card off of her again. Uh, so let's go ahead and draw a card off of her since I can't minus her anyway. Yeah. All right. So we will play a land now. If I cast this, I could bring a creature back. Do I have any? I don't really have any creatures worth bringing back in my graveyard. I mean, I have this I could bring back, but I don't think that's really worth doing that for. Um, yeah, so I think 
want to do is just pass term. So, see what he does. So he gets one more blue land, he could play this. Okay, so I guess that resolves. Right, if he wants to attack Lalith, I'm probably going to just kill this. Or, you know what, I'll turn this into a creature and chop block, or block it to kill it. So he's going to put the counter there. He should have put the counter here. Alright, activate. Wonder Twin Powers, activate. Mm, we're waiting on. I don't know what he's waiting on here. Come on, let me go to blocks. Let's see, go to blocks. Block, block. All right, well, Lala Serraz. If he has some way to like try to kill it now, I can always deadly dispute it. Yeah, so what we'll do is we will deadly dispute it to draw two cards. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that trade. I get two cards this way, and then I'm going to um, go to my turn, and we're going to zero Lolith. Uh, yeah, let's zero Lolith to draw a card. Then I'm going to play Warlock class, play a land, and if I up Warlock class, Yeah, we'll up Warlock class. Um, we will take Professor Onyx. And then I'm going to cast this. Targeting my opponent. So now he has to sacrifice a creature. And then I get to draw. And then I get to draw. And then he concedes. Alright, so that went pretty good. Um, yeah, this deck seems, seems like it's going to do alright. It's got a lot of answers for things, so fairly diverse amount. Of, it's not a lot of creatures. I think there's like seven creatures in the deck, maybe eight, but it's kind of a mid rangey controly mono black type deck. So we'll play another one. Probably just going to play two or three matches with this deck, just kind of get a feel for it. Try to get my one of my dailies in anyway. I've got a daily from yesterday that I didn't actually do because I didn't play the colors that it wanted. So black was one of the colors it wanted. So I thought, why not? Let's just do a black deck. So so far this seems pretty good. Um, mono black, you know, can always be pretty good. There's some things that black doesn't really deal with very well. Um, typically, black doesn't deal with mono, mono black anyway. It doesn't typically deal with artifacts or enchantments very well. But that um, invoke despair um, is an is an actual way that they have to deal with them. Of course, it only deals with one. Um, to really deal with like someone who's like playing a lot of enchantments or playing a lot of artifacts, um, you really need to be in white so that you can play farewell because that will exile all of them. Um, cause then you just, you get rid of them completely. You don't have to worry about them bringing things back from their graveyard and everything. So, um, a black white version of this deck, if there was a lot of enchantments or deck, a lot of checks, decks that were enchantments or a lot of decks that had, um, a lot of artifacts, um, probably splash into white for it. And of course this person, I hate when this happens. You sit there for over a minute waiting for a match and then it just automatically gives you a draw. If they exit out like that, they should just go and give you the win. Maybe like somebody sitting down going, oh, nope, I don't want to play you. Or I concede and walking away. So, all right, let's see how long it takes to get a match this time. 
All right, we found one lock for that time. So hopefully this is someone who will actually play as opposed to just backing out before the game ever even starts. Um, not super excited with this hand, but I do have this for turn one. And then uh, turn two, I can always do this to go get two cards or to get a card. Um, and then, of course, turn three, I can play this. So... Yeah, I think it's fine. Um, I have things for later, you know. I think I only have one copy of Lawless, so I think that's the uh, lone copy of her that's in the deck. So we'll go ahead and do this. So, and this one says, beginning of your end step, if the creature died this turn, each opponent loses one life. And then the last part, um, the opponents lose life equal to the amount of life you've uh, let's see, it's the amount of life they've lost this turn. Yeah, so if they lose like five lives, they lose another five at the end. So, what is this thing? How did he play that? It says it's two mana. Oh, okay. I guess he tapped one for mana and then tapped. Okay. Sure. Yeah, that's... I was trying to figure out how he played that with one land on the battlefield. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. You know what? We'll take... We'll take the Meat Hook Massacre. I don't think I want the other two of those with what I've already got going. Knowing that he's in Angels, I might need some kind of sweeper. Of course, next turn we're playing the Heavy. So... And if he's stuck on one land, then we might be in all right shape. So he's going to have to decide whether to start taking this thing out of combat when I attack with it. If he's just stuck on one land, then this shouldn't take very long. Yeah, so he just went ahead and seated. I don't know why you would keep two, a hand with two legendary lands. When you know you could, you're only going to get to keep one of them. Yeah. All right, so that was a rather quick match. Didn't get to do a whole lot. We'll play another one here and see if this is a little bit more of a, a normal game. So far, we've had one actual game and one no game, and then one game where somebody kept a really bad hand. Which I can't blame him for. I've, I've kept bad hands on here before, too. I think you're more prone on Arena to keep a bad hand than I am in real life. Because in real life, it just is a little different. Um, like this hand, for example. Um, I'm not going to keep this. So we're going to move on. Uh, we will keep this. And I will put... You know, I think out of what I've got here... I think I've... I just want to put the Warlock class on the bottom. Yeah. Because if I draw a land, I'll be able to play that one. So we'll play this first. But yeah, if I draw a land, I'll be able to play this guy. And once I get him out, they're going to have to start tapping him down. Which means I'm going to be able to... Um, see, did I play this here? Yeah, I, keep, I think I keep this up to draw. Because if he's in red, he might have a way to just go ahead and kill this. All right, well, he's not got it. Okay, so yeah. Um, this is a 3-1. Okay. It's my turn. So, now, I could play this and sacrifice it to draw two cards and give this minus one, minus one to kill this. So, the creature has space power, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think... Alright, so we're going to play this, and we're going to attack and see if he blocks. He's probably not going to block. No, he's not. And then I'm going to do this, sacrificing this, and choosing to give something minus one, minus one, targeting this. So this is going to die. And I get to draw two cards, and I get a treasure token, and I dealt one damage. So, alright, he's going to play the heavy. Alright, so let's play... Our land. Now let's go ahead and play the Lolith. We'll auto pay for her. 
Yeah, and then we're going to make two one ones. And we're going to pass. And if he attacks, I'm going to choose not to tap it down and let him get a card. Because I will just double block with these two. And so he chose not to even attack. Alright, so we'll go over here and we will zero all up. Um, we will cast our own Shakedown Heavy. And then we will hit. Um, so do I attack like this? No, I don't think I attack. I think I just end turn. So. Now we have a, a Battle of the Shakedown Heavies. Of course, I have another Shakedown Heavy in hand. I'll tell you what, we're going to sacrifice my Shakedown Heavy so that I can draw two cards and get another counter on Lolith. So now, does he attack? He does. All right. Um, I'm going to decline. I'm going to put these two in front of here, and I'll put this here. Oh, it has menace, doesn't it? Um, you know what? I think I'm going to put this and this here. This is going at Lawleth. Do I just let Lawleth die? I think I'm going to have to just let Lawleth die, aren't I? Um, you know what? We're going to double block like this. It's going to take three. Tell you what, we're, just, we're going to all out block. We're going to triple block. You can kill them all, but that's fine. I get to draft a card. Of course, all it doesn't survive to get those. Um, let's see. Do I want this enchant player? What does this look like? Okay. Um. Sure, I guess we'll take this. Alright, so we'll go to my turn. So what do I do for my turn? I think what I do is if I do this, this is all I'm doing for the turn. Okay, so I think I played this. The question is, do I do this? Um, yeah, I think we do. I think we just cast this and then turn. We'll keep this back. So if I want to next turn, I can do both of these. He's, of course, he's going to he's gonna kill my guy, which is fine. Alright, so we're going to attack. Uh, we're going to curse him. And then we're going to kill this. So if he loses one, I gain one. He's going to cast another one of those. That's fine. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and destroy all creatures using snow. So I get to bring a creature back. So I will, or a Planeswalker, you know what, we're going to bring a Planeswalker back. Um, he probably doesn't have any haste. But I think we're going to want to make those. He is in red, so he could have some kind of haste. And he's got another shakedown, maybe that's fine. Um, let's see, what is it she does? Does she make does your opponent sacrifice a creature? Yeah. Um, I say what, we are going to zero Lawleth first. Alright, and we are going to cast Professor Onyx, and we are going to have my opponent sacrifice a creature, and then we're going to go ahead, and, okay, and he can see, so, alright, so yeah, this deck seems pretty good, um, I'm curious if I got my daily in, if I got my daily in, we're not going to play another game, we'll just end the video here, uh, we've played a couple games with this, it seems pretty good, um, well, you know, I need three more spells. We're going to play one more game. See if we can make a quick game. 
depending on what the matchup is, I might get my three spells in and see what happens. If it's a bad matchup, I might just play through the three mat for the three spells and then concede. But because I mostly built this deck because I needed to get some black spells for a daily, so. Um, decided why not do a model black deck. I hadn't done a model black constructed deck for a while, so um sure let's keep it. It's not a great hand, but could be a worse hand, so alright, so we'll get the first pound witch out on turn one. Let's see, turn two, if we play something really bad on turn one, I could kill this, but there's not a lot of bad things for turn one that I really want to use this on. Uh this is probably gonna be what I play next turn. Let's see what he does. If he's going to do anything, or if he's just going to sit there and keep me from getting my three spells in. No, okay, so he played something. Uh, so it's a pilot. All right, so I have mana. So I say, what we're going to attack and see what he does. He's not going to block, and then I'm going to cast Shambling Ghast. All right, so if he wants to attack, I will block. Yep. That's fine. What does this do? Exiles and Island Permanent. Okay. Um, let's see. So, you know what? We're going to attack. We're going for it. See what he does. I've already got my three spells in. So, um, so I can make him discard two. He's in mono white more than likely, so I doubt he's going to really need his graveyard for anything. So we'll just go ahead and do this. Be mana efficient. Use all my mana. And then next turn, if I don't really have anything else to do, I can take this up to level two. So he's trying to decide what he wants to discard. All right, what did he get out? All right, what do we get from him? Okay, so we got the thing he went and got from outside, and then return all creature points with the first man later. Actually, let's remove it off the battlefield, and it's like that's a weird. Okay, I didn't lose X white white white. Okay, so that's why he's playing all these one and two drops because he can for five mana bring all of his one and two drops back. Okay, so we will play a land for turn. We'll go to combat. Alright, we're going to do this. Do I get to put a card in hand? What do I pull in hand? Do I put Hive or do I take the Shambling Guest? If I take the Shambling Guest, yeah, we'll take the Shambling Guest and then we'll play Shambling Guest for turn. So I have a blocker that can block something, kill it, and kill something else when it dies. So, seems like an alright thing to do. So he's going to gain two life and go to land. I'm going to play another one drop. And he's not going to attack. Alright, so. Um, let's see. Do I attack? Do I play this for one? And then play this? I think I do. Yeah, I think I play this for one. Because it's not going to kill my thing here. But then I can give this minus one minus one. And I can make a treasure token with the other one. And then I can cast this. And next turn if I want to, we'll just, we'll attack for zero. We'll flex on him. All right. All right, so we will... Kill this. He gets to do something. I don't remember what it does. What's it do? Uh, look at the top seven cards. Put a number. Okay. So I guess he's putting a bunch of non land permits in his hand more than likely. Because he's not putting counters on something. Alright. So put that on the battlefield. That's fine. And we'll kill that as well. And we'll tap.
Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see what we are going to attack first. Does he block? No. All right. So the question is, do I? Let's see. So I would need four mana to be able to kill this right now. Um, and that would kill my creature, but would let me draft off my creature. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Um, yeah, and we're gonna do it one, two, so we'll do it for three. No, we'll do it for two. If he's got a way to put a counter on this or something, then fine. Uh, we'll keep this one, it's fine. All right, so my creature dies, but I get to draft off my creature. So... Mm. Yeah, we'll take this. It's fine. And we'll just go ahead and play it. Alright, so in step, he loses, he loses. Alright. So he gets two four fours. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go to combat. So that's fine. And then, all right. So then I'm going to cast this. And he's going to lose two life. Sure, he can attack me for eight, but that's fine. All right. And then he concedes, yeah. Because he's he's either going to have to let me draw a card, or I'm going to do shenanigans with finding something off top of here and hopefully be able to do those last three damage so all right so those games went pretty good I actually actually kind of like this model black deck i might play a little bit more with it uh yeah, to try to rank up a little bit all right so we got the daily that i was going for so all right well that's all i'm going to do for the video um appreciate you watching the video i'd appreciate if you'd like subscribe comment like i said there are a couple of promo promo codes i'm going to be giving away so if you do comment um i do have two streets of nuka paint of pre-release codes that i'm going to give away and again i will be giving away promo codes for dominator united after it comes out for the pre-release uh codes because i will have some extras of those because i will do multiple pre-releases and you can only redeem one pre-release code for each set so I will have some extras that I will be giving away. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, and hopefully you have a good day playing Magic.